Hey there everyone, Laurel here. Today I have five ways to use the Tonic Expanding Mousse. Uh, you may be familiar with one of the older products, the Embellishment Mousse. This is kind of a new addition to the line because the Expanding Mousse actually expands and texturizes and puffs up when you add heat to it. The Expanding Mousse comes in eight metallic colors. The Embellishment Mousse comes in a more variety of colors, but I'm gonna show you some fun ways to use the Expanding Mousse today. I have seven of the eight colors. It appears that I'm missing one. I can't believe it. But uh, anyway, these guys are so much fun. Now you can use them like you would use the embellishment mousse by simply not adding that heat to it. And then you won't get that expansion feature. So you can actually use it both ways. So I will show you in this video that I'm gonna use it with and without the heat. And you'll see how beautiful it is. But I love all the metallic colors uh, that come with this expanding mousse. Let's take a look at the first technique, which is partial expanding or at least that's what I'm calling it. So this is a stencil. All the supplies that I'm using are linked below in the description and the order that they appear in the video for you. I am using these new tonic spatulas, which is just a game changer for me. I'll link to the video I did right up here in the corner. If you wanna take a look, I love them because they're silicone and they're bendable. And this is a very detailed stencil with lots of little open dots. So I love being able to just get up in there because of this bendable silicone uh, palette knife or media spatula as they call it and I love the size of it it was specifically designed for crafters so I'm so digging it I'm going to go in with another color here and you can already see that metallic just just coming to life now the spatulas come in two different sizes so I'm using the larger one here um, as I'm putting this down this looks ugly and I know that I feel it I know it I know that's what you're thinking you might want to click off the video don't don't, please don't, <laughs> stay with me. Uh, so I'm just basically going in and making sure that I get all these little circles uh, filled in with this expanding mousse. And then when I peel up the stencil, it's, it's not gonna look this ugly, I promise. Uh, but when you are using the expanding mousse, embellishment mousse, paste, whatever, make sure you take your stencil, either dunk it in some water, which is what I did, uh, until you, or clean it off right away. You don't want all that stuff to dry on your stencil because it's going to be a booger to get off, trust me. So here's where the fun comes in. I've got my heat tool, and I'm just going to heat up some of this. I'm not heating up the entire thing. So this is where that partial is coming into play here. So the, when you add the heat, the expanding mousse bubbles up. So it bubbles up, it gives it that poofy look and that texture, and the more expanding mousse that you put down, like the thicker application, the more texture you're gonna get. So here, I didn't do the whole thing, and actually you can see the color difference too. At the top, that is the kind of result that you would get from the other mousse. And in the middle where it's darker and the texture is shining through, that's from the expanding mousse. So you see, you see the difference? If not, I'm going to show you here because here I'm not going to add any heat whatsoever. So I'm basically creating my own glossy cardstock. I am applying this expanding mousse with one of the Nouveau blending sponges. You can use any kind of sponge that you have in your stash. Use your finger. You can use a microfiber cloth, uh, whatever you want to spread this down. And this stuff dries almost instantly. And if you follow me, you know I do not like stuff coming off on my hands. I don't like glitter. I don't like you know, I don't want things coming off from my cards. <laughs> they're supposed to be there and they're supposed to stay there. And another thing I love about this expanding mousse. So here I've gone in with two different colors, applied it the same way. I'm adding zero heat whatsoever. And now I've got my own beautiful custom glossy cardstock. And will you look at that background? Will you just look at it? It is sparkly, it is shiny, and all I did was stamp an image and sentiment and heat emboss it. Done and done and it doesn't come off of my hands. All right, moving on to tinted double layering. I am using the pearlescent, I think this is called toasted almond embellishment mousse, and it's a, like a very creamy pearlescent color, but I wanna tint it, I wanna get my own custom color. So I'm using some of that shimmer powder, which is a very pigmented powder, it's got a lot of mica in it, and I'm mixing the two together to create my own custom color here. It's so pretty, so I'm actually getting double the, the, the sparkle. I'm getting the sparkle from the metallic mousse, and then I'm getting the shimmer from the shimmer spray. Now, a whole total happy accident is coming up, and you're going to witness it. 
Okay, so I've got a stencil. I'm just kind of partially putting it through my stencil. I didn't want to cover the whole design, so I'm just kind of going in on that left-hand side and putting in that paste. And oh my gosh, I love this color. But look at what I did at the bottom. I'm like, that is a hot mess. So I tried to scrape some of it away, and I'm like, ew, my gosh. So how am I going to save this? What am I going to do? I don't know if I'm saying anything right now to myself or what. So I decided to take that media spatula. I'm spreading it all out like I'm frosting a cake getting that beautiful color on there then I'm going to take that same stencil and I'm going to go in with that toasted almond and I'm going to go right over the top of that that's where that double stenciled layering look is coming in and I'm going to tell you right now this is my favorite card out of the bunch this is so pretty to me I'm going to take my heat tool and I'm going to just expand it all up now it's not a super thick a coating that I put there and now again if you want some serious texture if you want it like really poofy and textury you just add more you add a thicker layer but this turns out to be the best card ever I'm just loving all of that that background because we we basically tinted it ourselves with that shimmer powder the background actually has all these little bursts of color in it which I think is so cool and then we layered on that design right on top of it and I, I don't know I just think it's cool it's a happy accident thank God um, and I love how it turned out <laughs> this is the last look we're doing something I'm calling watercolor ink smushing so you can actually add some water to these expanding mousses and create your own very thick if you will watercolor which is what I'm going to do here so I just put a little bit out onto my glass mat here and then I'm going to get some water and just add a couple of spritzes of water there uh, and then just mix it up with my spatula it's a very creamy consistency I suppose you could add a whole bunch more water to thin it out but I didn't want to do all that um, I didn't want it too thin I wanted it thick and then I decided that purple looked like a little like like dirty <laughs> purple so I'm going to go in and add that toasted almond is a must-have it's a staple you can do a lot with it. You can change up some of your colors a bit. So I went ahead and just mixed it all up and I'm gonna keep doing it until I'm happy. I'm just using the tip of a paintbrush to kind of get it out because uh, the paintbrush is probably sitting on my desk and I was too lazy to find anything else. So I'm just mixing it up until I like the color, the personal color of my choice here. And then I'm just going to take some watercolored cardstock. You kind of want to get some thick cardstock here because of the water that you're putting into the, the mousse. You know, I think it would probably be best if you were to use watercolored cardstock. And then I'm just pressing down, like I'm doing that water mushing technique that I love so much. And I did not know how this was going to turn out. As I'm doing it right now, in my mind, I'm thinking this, this is ugly. It's not coming together like I thought it would. Um, which happens to me a lot and it might happen to you go with it let it dry see what it looks like when you're done because you just you don't you're not going to know from this right here because uh, right now I'm like Ugh, I'm not feeling it but I walked away ate a sandwich I don't know what I did did a little laundry and came back when it was done I didn't add any heat to this so just because you have the expanding mousse doesn't mean you always have to add the heat so when I came back from whatever it is I went to do, I loved how it looked. It was very textury just because we mushed it into the mousse that we watercolored down. And so all I did was take a die cut and die cut that panel and then I inlaid it back in place. I just wanted that design uh, just to kind of be like an outline in there. And I just think it turned out really, really, really nice. Uh, so just because you have the expanding mousse doesn't mean you have to add heat, which is why I love it. You can treat it like you would an embellishment mousse. You can make your own glossy cardstock like we did here. You can layer it on top of each other, add heat, not add heat, partially add heat, uh, mush it, <laughs> create some water, thick watercolors and mush your, your paper into it. I mean, there's so much that you can do with it. And I had a really good time playing with this embellishment mousse. Again, all the supplies I used are linked below in the description. Here is a video you might want to take a look at. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe by clicking on my little face right there. <laughs> and then click that notification bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.